What's going on guys? And I have a short box comp a call for you. I, it's all bag and boarded. I got it all situated and I got a really nice box out of it, but I thought I'd show you guys what this pickup was like. This was 20 bucks, $20 got this great haul and I want to show you guys what I got in it. So let's get started. Alrighty guys, so we're just going to start off at the top of this list for the box. We got Daredevil 300. That is a very nice book. I don't know if it has any uh, key significance, but it's in great shape. So that's a really cool book. Then we got Daredevil 325. That's another like really cool cover. Then Daredevil 278. Daredevil 275. That looks like that's it for the Daredevils. Cool. We got Shadow of the Bat number one, a book that, this was another book where I wanted to pick it up, but it had to be at the right price and getting in this haul, great. That was amazing. Then we got Marvel Team Up 93, Avengers 193, Avengers 192, Batman 66.3. I love picking these ones up. These are fun uh, covers. Power Man and Iron Fist 55. Power Man Iron Fist 56. All this stuff ranges from like mid grade, um, just slightly below mid grade or really high grade. So just letting you all know about that. Power Man Iron Fist 50. Power Man Iron Fist 51. And this is a cool one. The Death of Superman in its poly bag. Now that is a really cool pickup. It's only worth about 12 bucks. That is the right price to price a uh, Death of Superman. Not over 100. There are a lot of places that'll try to charge over $100 for that book, and I think that is an absolute ripoff. Then we got Marvel Superheroes featuring the Hulk and Submariner 53. Again, that's slightly below uh, low grade. Then we got Dragon Lord 5. Marvel's Greatest Comics 28. Now that's a cool book to have. Then we got Iron Man 122. The Immortal Hulk number one. That's like a $30 book, and I was shocked about it. I just picked up because it's a number one issue, but I did not realize the thing had a pretty decent price tag on it. Fantastic Four 233. We got Edge of Venomverse number three. That's a really cool cover. Edge of Venomverse number one. Um, that looks, it says second printing, but still, it's still got like a $5 price tag, so it's still really nice. Deathlock number one, $3 comic right there. Moon Knight variant edition number two, that is like a $40 comic. I've been getting lucky with some variants. That's really neat. Then we got it finally, a new Moon Knight. I've been trying to hunt for a new Moon Knight comic for my uh, Moon Knight uh, collection. Moon Knight, what is that? 18? Moon Knight 18? Do not have that one yet. Really happy to get it. And it's actually a, probably around an eight, A590 eight, grade, so that's really nice. Marvel Team team Up, Spider-Man, and Generation X number one. First appearance of one of the Superboys. We have Midnight Suns number one, featuring Morbius. Spider-Man Chapter 1, Number 7. Spider-Man Chapter 1, Number 8. Avengers 190. Spider-Man Number 8. Todd McFarlane cover. Marvel Team Up Hulk and Kazar 104. The Son of Tomahawk 132. That's about mid-ish grade. All right, so now we got a whole bunch of Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Mans. We got, we got Double Size Annual number five, uh, the Annual number six. All right, we got issue 40, which I think I have that one, but that's, it was in pretty good grade. It's just one fold up there, but and that's pretty good. Uh, issue 41, 42. 43, 45, 80, 
105, and 114. A lot of Peter Parker's Spider Man. It's really happy to get those, but they're not very valuable and they're not expensive to get, but I like adding those to the collection. Obnoxious the Clown X Men number one, second copy of that thing. It's like a $2 comic, but it's a funny one to pick up. Nightcrawler number one. Secret Wars number five. New Mutants Annual number one. That's about mid grade, but it's pretty cool to have that one. We got Secret Wars six. New Mutants number one. Always, always love pick, getting that one. Then we got Secret Wars seven, which is the first one of the uh, first prints of the Spider Woman's. So that's really cool. Secret Wars four. The Mighty Thor Star in the Marvel Spectacular number two. It's a really neat book. We got first prints of Three D Man and Marvel Premiere. Marvel Age, number one. Mad Balls, number one. Machine Man, number two. Logan's Run, number three. Logan's Run, number two. Then we got Cull, ten. Kid Cult Outlaw, 227. Invaders, 13. Fantastic Four, 250. Right, we got the final little stack. Fantastic Four, 206. Fantastic Four, 198. Fantastic Four, 103, 15 center. That's a good one to have. Dragon Slayer, number one. G.I. Joe, 44. That's a bunch of first appearances. It's in the lower grade, but it's nice to have. Invader 17. A mid-grade copy of Moon Knight 4. Giant size Masters of Kung Fu number one. We got two books left. We got Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man 146 as the reprint of the first appearance of Electro. Pretty cool book. And finally, New Mutants 87, second printing of the first appearance of Cable. I would say, guys, for $20, that is well worth it. I think I got some great books. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video down below. And subscribe to the next video. See you guys.